So we're doing between three shoes and what we have here, Robbie, is the Adidas, say it right. Uh, Adidas. Yeah. Are and keep Takumi saying? Sen 8. Is it Adi Zero Takumi Sen 8? It is Adi Yeah, it is, it is, it is. You got it if you want to. Adi Zero Takumi Sen 8. Yeah. I saw a pair of Takumi Sen 7s at Marshall's the other day for like 40 bucks. What? Yeah, sure, probably should pick them up. And we have the New Balance Fuel Cell. SCP, Super Comp Pacer. Super Comp Pacer, and what's their, this guy? Nike Zumex Streak Fly. And what do they all have in common, Robbie? Well, what they all have in common is that they're meant to be like faster 5K slash 10K shoes, meant for shorter distances. And well, I do think that's true about a couple of these shoes. I also think there might be more to it than that. I think it's a really weird category that the shoe companies are making right now. Almost, I get it yeah. if you're an elite pro and you want to have a little bit of a different fine tuning to your runs. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I've only worn, let's see, two of these shoes. So I haven't worn the Streak Fly, but you've worn all of them, so we can I've get in there. I've worn all three. But I do agree with you, especially after wearing the Takumi Sen. I mean, we talked about it in the Takumi Sen review that you know, five years ago, this would have been a marathon shoe. Dude, this would not just been a marathon <laughs> shoe. This would have been the revolution. Like, if this had come out before Vaporfly, this would be what everybody is chasing right sure. now. Sure. Let's get into it. Let's talk about, I guess, between three shoes. Yeah. Of these shoes, I believe the Takumi Sen has the biggest stack height. 33 stack in the heel with Light Strike Pro. Yeah, Light Strike Pro, the same super phone they use in the Adios Pro. Two and three. Yeah, we got the energy rods in here. It's the like plastic energy rods, not plastic, but, you know. TPU. Uh, TPU. I love yeah. the TPU is synonymous <laughs> with plastic, <laughs> but is. you know, Robbie's trying to be like, okay, I'll stick to yeah. stick to the company. To the, to the company line. I love this shoe. Uh, I, in fact, we're testing so many shoes that I just look at this longingly on my shelf. I know. I'm like, I just want to take you out on the road. <laughs> I feel the same way. It's like you, you, see this shoe and you're like, this is a fun shoe to run in. And it has enough cushioning to feel good. Even at slower paces, you don't have to be ripping in this shoe. You are gonna wanna rip once you have it on because it is so light and yeah. smooth and the transition is great. Upper fits well. It's a little tricky with the lacing. As you can see, there's tons yeah. of lacing. You have to adjust, get your adjustments down. But once you're in, you're in. Uh, so let's move on to the next shoe. The I'm gonna go with this one since we both okay. run in it. Super Comp Pacer. This is a more lightweight, closer to the ground, somewhat firmer shoe, more, this is more in line with the traditional racing. That's what I was say. gonna say. Yeah. This is that shoe that really reminds me of those 1540s uh, or the 1500 uh, New Balance. It has that low slung track feel to it. Yeah, and you have the carbon plate that's full length running down here. It gives you a pretty snappy, firm ride. Yeah. That's not, that's not flex. The upper on this one was kind of like something that was a little bit lacking for me. You can see even in the throat of the shoe, how far the lacing goes down on the Adidas and where it stops mm -hmm. on the Pacer, leaving you a really kind of wide toe box, which could work for some people. I found that this shoe worked best for me when I wasn't wearing a sock. Yeah, I interestingly enough, I did run without a sock in this one too, and I kind of agree. It's super breathable, there's hardly anything to the upper. Let's move on to this bad boy. Line. Okay, so this is the one that I have not run in. I don't know what happened. My small feet just <laughs> didn't get this one for you. Right there, it didn't have the sizes. First off the bat, I just think this is a beautiful shoe. It's a piece of work. Like if you look at this and you, it, it should be in the MoMA, if you turn it 360 degrees, everything, every angle is like, smoothed out it's just a it's a pretty shoe i'll I mean, just leave it at that it was exciting when it came out people were stoked on this shoe it's got snatched up pretty quickly so what this basically is is you still have a, a decent amount of stack this one and it's funny because this would be more stacked than our traditional marathon shoes and they're like 10k 5k the only thing it's really missing from the vapor fly is that plate in it so what you're getting is a plateless vapor fly and I really love the way the Zoom X reacts under your foot here. Just to get in the upper real quick, super lightweight. What I liked about this one, it has the breathability that the New Balance one has, but the better fit of the Takumi Sen. I don't know if this rubber acts as some form of rigidity for the toe. This was the shoe that when I was running with Ben Johnson and we 
picked up the pace at, during a 5K to just kind of like get some footage. We were sprinting in the shoot and it really was interesting the way that the Zoom X went from this soft feeling at slower paces to getting a little bit rigid and in the faster paces okay. and really came alive. I love this shoe and I, I thought it was just interesting how the dynamic of the Zoom X plays in at different speeds. Right. So when you, it's funny because uh, Brandon likes to give me crap because I'll say, you could daily train this shoe. Yeah. It's comfortable enough to, to have for the slower paces and then just lights up when you pick up the pace. Yeah, that's interesting. What are you going with if you have to pick between these shoes? I guess we didn't mention the price point. I believe they all come in at relatively the same price in that 180 range, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it easy for myself and get rid of this one okay. off the bat. So it really comes down to these two shoes and the reason I'm gonna say these two over the New Balance is the versatility. I felt like if you wanted to, you said to me when you had this one, you ran in all kinds of paces mm -hmm. in this, right? Yeah, yeah. And you found it was fun to run your you know, easy paces and fun to run. Yeah, I mean, pick it up. exactly. It's really fun to pick it up, but you could also, like, yeah, you can kind of do everything in, in a weird way. It, this one for me is that person that enjoys maybe starting off a little bit slower for their runs, warming up, and then maybe throwing some fart licks in, throwing some speed play into yeah. their workout, maybe doing tempo. Those people that can't chill. Mm -hmm. This is that fun, fun shoe. This guy, again, like, I think it's going to come down to the durability. I'm going to give this one durability over the Zoom X foam. Like I said, I haven't tried the Street Fly, so for me personally, I can't do between three shoes, I can do between these two. Picking this one, I mean, I'll pick this above pretty much a lot of shoes out there. Like, this has been one of my favorite shoes in the last year. There's a little bit of that magic in this yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's so close between these two for me, but I'm gonna give the edge to the Takumi. I just think you can get more, more, a little bit more out of this shoe. It's a fun shoe. If you can find this shoe and, and try it, highly recommend it. Again, this guy is so close. It's it's like neck and neck for me. Um, I'd say this one has a little bit more give for a wider foot than the Takumi does. Yeah. So and again, that could, that could be a change. If you're just looking for a more traditional, like racing flat style, then this might work for you. But if you want more versatility and a lot more out of it, I would go Takumi Sin. Yeah. Anything else? That's it for me. All right.